Hello everybody, welcome back to Stoneheart, me Bantos, we're back again here, and in the previous episode we was designing our windmill over here. I has had some issues with it, but uh, most of them seems to be able to solve it once the building is done. Pretty much we got these two spots here, but uh, I can fix them later, it's not possible to remove them. But I want to make something like for the entrance for the windmill as well, so I'm gonna add like... A tiny little bit of details to this thing, that's uh, it's just gonna make it look a little bit nicer, I would say. We can have some pillars going up like this. They're not gonna go up too high, maybe something like this. Let's see it. Not sure how high it should go, maybe this high, something like that. Maybe one lower, and we're gonna make like a, a roof for this. I think we go for this color. Then we go for this color, and... Here we do another one. This should be pretty nice. We can have it sticks out a little bit as well. I think that's gonna be nice for it. But we also can add a little bit of details to this thing. So I'm gonna do a thing that I saw on another YouTuber actually do Stoneheart as well. It's called Ulfris, I think. So pretty much you go like and do like this. You pretty much go and remove a little bit here and there, and it just creates an interesting like detail to it. it just make it look a little bit more interesting. So something like that we can have for the back side of this. Also saw some comments about um, only having like these brownish things for just the one side. I haven't fully decided how I will do yet with it. I think I want to add something like this on top of uh, the spinning thing just to make it look interesting like for the end of it. Would be as fun to have something like that or we could go without it, I don't know. I know which you think the most that you want to have. So maybe we'll leave it like that for now and you guys can say like, I want a wooden thing in front of it or not. There are people are very busy with building stuff, they should be very very busy. For the moment they're building the stockpile house. And it do take quite a while to do this, so we have so many buildings that we need to do. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 buildings that are not built yet, so... I'm thinking about if we should like, fast forward some in the episode, so... Pretty much some uh, houses gets done in the normal way, but it will be very like fast forward done. So we'll see how we're gonna do it, because we really need to get things done, I think. Oh, a caravan, what did you want? One wall gargoyle, I changed for one fire pit. I don't want to do that, because I like the wall gargoyles, I want to keep them, I think they look pretty awesome. I use them very little, but I still think they look really awesome. I want to mine out a little bit more, I want to get uh, pretty much like, I want to get more stone. We don't get so much stone from it, but uh, I think it's pretty nice to get a little bit of stone. Because we will need it for all these stone chests. You know, 29 stone chests, that's a hell amount of stone. And we will also need even more when we're gonna do this storage house that we got over here. There's plenty of another. So that's 38 more stone chests. But I think this house... We might wait with that a little bit, because this storage is gonna be suiting for us for the moment. We don't really gonna need more storage anytime soon after this one. I don't think so, at least. And let's see if we can actually fix a little bit with the farm. I really wanna, uh, I really wanna get this done with. I think this should be the corners, yep. Do one for that side. You can add one more down here. I think this should be the correct place, I hope. This mod I really really love, this is so such a great mod. It's pretty simple but very useful, so we didn't need this one. So we're just gonna have to remove it once uh, we get a little bit of that. Also wanna see if we got some patio feathers, because I do think we need to like go and like butcher them. Harvest for meat, it does say harvest for meat, it doesn't say harvest for anything else, only meat, but I would guess that we get podio feathers from it. I mean, we don't want to throw those resources away, so... So we got one podio feather, so let's make one spiky quiver. It'd be nice. I think we're gonna make a wall here soon also, I know that there have been comments about making walls before, so we're gonna make probably a wall over here. And uh, the other wall is probably going to be at this spot, a very tiny spot, but very useful because we still have the end goal to pretty much go out here and build here, so... We gotta make sure that we don't block anything out because we're gonna have a nice cool bridge here later on. And I mean, this is really far away still, I mean, 
Our town has grown pretty good, but it takes a lot of time to do things in this game, so, you know, it's gonna take quite a bit of time, so... But I guess we could, like, design a wall over here. I guess we could do that. I do think I want to have one in stone this time. I think that suits in with our town a lot. And we can do this in many ways. I think, actually, this wall... I'm not gonna have a gate for it. The thing is that if you make a gate, they can just run right through it. But if you make doors, they have to bash it down. But I feel like I don't want to have... I don't want to have doors. And there are so many ways that you can do this, by the way. We can either do it uh, slab by slab. Sometimes it actually feels like that is faster way. Then I can't go inside it though, so that's the I guess the downside of it. But this is like if we want to make walls, this is a very like quick way to do it, and you can add a lot of things to it. So okay, we got some invaders. Let's see where our troops is. We gotta rally them. Let's rally my people. Let's see if we can gather my people somewhere. Let's see what we got for enemies. It's like one. Hard Archer. Those Archers are really, really dangerous. Not to be underestimated. So I'm gonna move my troop together here with the Defense Command. You can see where we're gonna fight them. I just wanna rally everybody. Okay, so here we got some. I think we can maybe take some down before the Archer comes in. Okay, they do have a healer in the back, so we gotta take that healer out. Healer's gotta go first. Wow, I'm actually scared. That means <laughs> that's pretty nice. We got another healer here, so we're gonna take him also. I think other people are able to pretty much go back to work. Okay, so should we... I guess we can take out our other ones. I really don't, you know, I really don't like this archer, but I think we're pretty safe. It feels like my clerics really, like, keep up way more than they were doing before. Come on, dudes. Kill him. There should be one or two left, I would guess. They're doing really good. See if it's archer level 4, that's awesome. And you see we got a new armor for my people. So Star got new equipment, new armor. I would guess the Star got a shield as well. Steel shield, silver mail, silver helmet. That's freaking much armor, that's so awesome. And maximum level and everything. Star is awesome, and I would guess that Crystal, our other knight, is also awesome. Yeah. She's also awesome. She also got great equipment. Steel short sword. I think there's might be a better one. I don't think that's the best one. We do have the long sword as well. We need to have steel for this. And we need coal. So we need coal then. Okay. Let's see if we can find some coal somewhere. We do have any like veins of coal up here. That's not way too far away. Do seem like we have some coal up here, another there. That's a lot, look at that. Iron, coal, and tin. Daily update. Ooh, guys, we beat it. Awesome. Who joins today? Who is it going to be? Olive Pounder has joined. So that's a girl. So let's name her. So this is gonna be Lulu. Welcome, Lulu, to our town. Hope you're gonna have a great, great time in our town, Caldor, here over here. So. I'm gonna build some ladders, so we can actually like get up to the coal. It's pretty far up. We do have some more iron if we need it later. It might be some coal closer, I don't know. But I think that's pretty much the closest place, to be honest. I think I'm gonna take this spot, actually. Something like that. Hopefully it's gonna give us a little bit of coal. This is a really far travel, so... If you wanna keep going up here, we should maybe, you know, make a road to go up there. Because that's gonna take forever to go up and down there all the time. I'm just gonna see also if we're gonna, like, change some people. So maybe not everybody in our town are, like, doing all the same things. We got some error message again. So for the moment we have five people building. I'm thinking about removing one more that pretty much like go and do all kinds of other things. So we're gonna try that and see how it works. He also went idle for some reason, so I guess we're gonna be doing building with that person also. It's just really nice to have some people that yes, you know, pretty much goes around and fixes things. It's really really nice. Not sure if that's gonna be enough stone to be honest. It's gonna be pretty much exactly maybe that we have enough. Also thought about changing the roof for this. Not sure if we made 
was thinking about like doing the same thing as pretty much we have down here so we would like remove a little bit of parts from this just to create an interesting pretty random colors everywhere I think it's gonna be nice I was gonna have to remember to put in each hole so we we'll go for this color over this one. I want to go for another one that uh, like sticks out for another one, so maybe this one is better. Yeah, this is way brighter, so we can go for this one. Something like that should be pretty sweet. I think that's gonna make it look a lot more interesting. Maybe a few more spots like here, I guess. It look pretty naked there. Something like that, it's gonna be nice. A little bit of variation. I think I liked it really much on this, so that's why I kind of wanted to have it. I'm still not sure if I want to have so this actually goes all the way out, or if I just want to go that. Maybe that looks better. I think it might look better that way. Armor gem supply. Oh, foods. No, we're not gonna buy any potty feathers. We're gonna get our own, but maybe some. This thing, raw mutton and sheep. Let's buy some of that. Maybe we should get some, we should like get some sheep later on as well. I'm not sure if one shepherd can actually take care of more than one animal type at a time. I have to move these fences, we can fix this. No, not in that spot, no. I think I'm gonna butcher some more podios. Want your feathers, sorry little podios, I need your feathers. Get some new chicken at least. A little podio chic. Beep beep. Ooh, look at that. We're actually getting the raw podio meat, so that's nice. I would guess that those are really, really good foods. They should be because we're using podios for it. Let's roast some of that. Um, we need to have a stone oven. I need to maintain five of those. I do think we have made one of those. Yeah, there we go. Put it in here, cook have it, you can have it pretty much, should be a good spot for it. Hope they're gonna get done, they, they made it very interesting with this stair by the way, look at this. They only made like one go up like that, you know it's supposed to be all this thing, but it's, you know, pretty interesting how they made that. Come on me people, I believe in you, you can build this, you can do it. Ooh, more food. I'm not really sure if we want to buy anything. I think we do might want to sell something. Wow, this goes for a lot of money. 32 golds. That's, uh, I would guess, a good raid resource then. 32 gold. That's pretty good. Look at that. The general's hat's awesome. 100 gold, 90 gold, and 65 for that one. Guess we can sell these. Oh, did we have the big vault? Look at that guys, we have two of those. Look how big they are. They look awesome. They would be really, really cool to have like in some keep or something of like real, real treasures. Stamina tonic. Maybe we should put some like somewhere around like they're pretty easy to find. Maybe here in the middle. I would like to have them someplace. We can make like a separate table where they pretty much have all those. So let's see. Let's do some kind of like I would guess stone table. Maybe we can do more later on. So maybe we make something like this. Not sure if it should be that long. Just make like that. It can be four on that one. There can be other four there. Then we can like put some potion on top of them. We can even make them like look even more special I guess. But it would be more troublesome for people. Like if they would like sticking up a little bit more. Because like normally no potions and stuff. I very, very rarely use them because you know you have to put them out and you have to click on them. But if I know at a good spot where you can click on them, it's gonna be way like easier, you know, to use them and, and I'm gonna be using them way more often. And I'm also gonna make some of those uh, energy tonic as well. Oh, don't we have a herbalist for the moment? Don't have a herbalist. 
I don't think I'm gonna promote that one for the moment because we need a building force. We need a building force. We need to get this done over here. So I'm gonna let the game like speed up a little bit and uh, I will be right back again. Okay guys, we got another one to come to join us. The food is going up, so that was nice. Mard Stroden. So another guy has joined with a good good mind, decent body and decent spirit. So let's name this dude, let's see who it's gonna be today. So this is gonna be a short name, a very short one, Zed. So this is gonna be Zed. Welcome Zed to our town, hope you're gonna have a great great time here, so... Guys, it seems like we got this little place is done where I want to have my potions. Um, you know, I'm gonna put up some here. Since we don't have so many, I think I will put them like a little bit spread out like that. That's gonna be good. I think we're gonna make some more potions though, so let's get an herbalist. We need one with a good, good mind. We need one with good, good spirit and uh, young class von Houten is good if we're gonna be a cleric in the future, but his mind is a little bit low, I would say. It's really bad with that mind when you actually like crafting stuff, and the herbalists do craft stuff. But at the same time, if you're gonna be a cleric later on, he's gonna be a good, good cleric with 5 spirit and 5 body. He's gonna be a really, really good cleric, so. He's gonna get his very own house as well, so this is where Jan will be like working, where we're doing all his crafting, all kinds of things. Okay, so we got some enemies, some invaders. Do do do, this is a pretty big troop. Some archers, some dangerous ones, some weak ones, and two ogres. This could kinda get kinda dangerous, I would guess. Not sure we where we have all the people yet, they're up at the mine again. I like to be at this mine, it seems. Uh, don't take that away, dudes. We need to go for the archers. Where are my people? need to nuke some of them down. Where are my people? There, there's like no one down here yet. Oh, they're so far away. Come on, people! Let's take these guys out. Should go down way quicker than other ones. It's nice that they're when they're fleeing like this. Maybe we could take down an ogre pretty quick. Hmm, I don't know, I kind of want them to go away and do things. Wow, they're helping, they're killing this archer. Good, good. But it seems like the healers are doing a way better job. Of course we have better armor and stuff. But I really feel like the healers are doing a better job or something. Because you can really see like the health bars, they were filling up. Like before, it wasn't like really filling up or anything. But it hasn't been a new patch, so... It's pretty strange, I would say. Let's get this dude first. Wow, this is going on quick, man. This last one, this should be... I think this is one of the elite ones. One of the more dangerous ones. Wow, you can take too much health. I have way too much health. And he's down. Well done, guys. But, they, you know, they like to be spread out because... They are also, like, bringing resources. I'm gonna mine a little bit more up there because uh, I don't think we have... The resources yet to make uh, the long swords, do we? Actually, we do have to make one of them. That should be nice. I'm not sure if one of my knights have a long sword. Short sword and... Star got, a lo Star got a long sword, so we pretty much just need one more, I would guess. Maybe we should do some, also, like, some better weapons for our footmen. We don't have many for the moment. We will need tons of like coal, so maybe we'll wait a bit with that. We're gonna get like an engineer pretty soon as well. Not sure when we're actually gonna get it. But hopefully pretty soon because I wanna like, you know, I wanna try it out. But they are pretty much done with like the house itself. They need to put in some windows and then they need to remove the scaffolding. The stair is not done yet for some reason. It seems like they're building it now. I know it's also like downstairs. We're just supposed to be sitting on top of things. It seems like they're actually built it now. Before it wasn't anything there, so we're soon done with this, so that's nice. Really really nice. Ooh dudes, look at that. We almost beat it again. Just a little bit more net worth and we would beat it. 
It's going pretty good, we have 26 people. I think maybe the maximum I have that we can get is 27. And I'm not sure if we should go more with the town or not. Pretty much like the more people you have, the bigger the risk is of like breaking stuff of the game, so... Ooh, okay, so it seems like this stair is actually a separate building. I don't know how it became a separate building. That's why it looks like that, so I think we wait until like this scaffolding is away, just so we don't screw something up with that. But since they're busy with that, I guess we can make a wall, but I haven't fully decided yet if it should be like only a slab or in this way. If we do it this way, it's gonna be way quicker to do it, so maybe we will do it in this way. So maybe it goes pretty much here, and then we can make an like a tower here maybe be cool I guess. Not sure how it's gonna work when it's like directly next to this one though. But maybe first we have to go and pretty much like make the wall. Let's make a wall first. I think we can make maybe so it goes like that. We get a wall. I think we can also add a tower here. I'm not sure if we can make maybe fit a door here. Can we? No, nope, it's, too, it's too thin to fit a door there, so they won't be going from this and up to the tower, but they can go from the tower, you know, up there and from the wall to the tower and so on. So I would guess that we can make a tower here. We do have to, like, make it so it actually goes against the wall, because if it doesn't go against the wall, they will just be able to, you know, walk straight through it, so... But here we have to go for a custom wall. That should be pretty good. We need a door for this. Good. There's gonna be plenty more stone to do this thing later, so... Oh! It popped up some enemies right in front of me. That's the first time I've seen something like that. I'm gonna bring my soldiers over. I wanna get these dudes away. I don't wanna have them so close to us. Come on, my people. Do it! These enemies are so weak, like, when you get this far in the game, like, these enemies, you pretty much like, almost, like, one-shot them. You don't stand much a chance against them. Okay, so you need a stair, maybe... Should we use a stair tool? Sometimes I kinda don't like the stair tools. I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make my very own stair. It just feels a little bit better sometimes. I wanna try also, like... Let's do this thing, like, with this stair as well, like, just to remove a little bit of parts. There we go. Could have just gone for this one as well, it looks different every time, so that one works very well for this situation. I think we're also gonna make maybe a wall, right next to this. Maybe it we make this one in wood, inside. I guess the columns can still be stone. They can go up here. Nice. Because we got a big troop again. It's one dangerous archer. See where my people are. Hopefully they're not spread out, but probably they are. Let's see if we can get them together here. It feels like the best way is always, almost always like getting together first before, before like going in. Because like the, the footmen, for example, they, you know, they tend to like to run in first. There's another healer, let's take him out. Our tanks are so powerful now. After we got a new armor, they became so freaking powerful. They're like unstoppable pretty much. It's so easy now, like, you know that episodes two, three ago? It was like, what is going on? I'm like dying, everybody's losing health, and I was like, hmm, it's really easy. Like, what's happened? <laughs> it's super easy now. See if Archer level 5, so great range, that's really nice. Something you want if you're gonna have people on the walls. I think like having people on the walls is something that is more important later in normal mode, like, on hard mode, it feels like it could be really important early on, at least way more important than it is here. 
But I don't feel like for like normal mode that it's like really important to have early on. I'm gonna remove a little bit like that just so we can make the walls for this easy. Actually, we shouldn't have it higher walls than that. I think this height is good for the walls itself. So we're gonna have to remove this instead. We can make our tower going up. We do have to make the custom walls again. Let's see if we can fit a good door here. Nice. We're gonna make a nice path in the middle also. is not a slightly different color, like a lot brighter, I guess. That. I think we're gonna have so it sticks out also, like over this. I think that makes a wall look really good. Now comes for the big, big clicking part with the slabs again. Thinking about if we should go for this, so it might be like a slightly different color each time. Seems to be the, pretty much the same though, not sure why. Here we go, that was a lot of clicking, let's check the daily update, what's going on here, and almost beat it! So close, we need to get up the net worth. Let's see what my people are doing for the moment, if they're building, what they're doing, they're sleeping for the moment. It seems my people found a crypt over here, like, hello, we just found a crypt, we're gonna fight them. And it seems like I have a whole party here, so well, I guess it's good. Pretty much, you know, my people don't go together very often, but now it seems like, oh, we go together. Look at that, a long sword. that's a really, really good find, that's a really good find. But I don't like that my people are this far away, because, for example, if we get, like, attacked from over here, that's gonna get really, really dangerous really, really quick. We want that, don't want that to happen, you know? Let's see what they're doing in here. They still have like a lot of things to put out. We should have all the windows, I would guess. They're still putting out a lot of like chests and pretty much in this storage house we're gonna have everything. So it's not gonna be like only food or something, it's gonna be everything. Maybe buy one worker's outfit. Maybe we should see with our weaver a little bit what they're doing for the moment. Let's make some more quivers, so we can have maybe two more. And I guess maybe these quivers are really good, and maybe this is actually what are slowing down the enemies now. Let's check it out, let's check out my people. This could be what's actually slowing down the enemy archers. Yeah, we do have slow for this person. We already have slow. Then maybe we should remove that from Q and we can make some... Uh, Fire arrows. I think I never actually like used them, so that would be fun to try out. Let's make some fire arrows instead. Gives Archie access to fire arrows, which deal damage over time. It should be, I would guess, good. Maybe you can target like one, 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 and you pretty much get down health on everybody a little bit at a time. I'm not sure how much it deals in damage, but I would guess it's at least kind of much. Still gonna wait with this there until like they're done with the house. Okay, so let's get back to doing our wall over here. I think it's gonna be a nice wall. Hopefully it's gonna be. I think we can do maybe some stairs. Maybe we'll have two stairs for this, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do stairs this side first to start with. This is gonna be like the top of the thing. Gotta get up and then we're gonna have so it goes a little bit. Like this should be enough. There we go. Um, I think we'll leave it like that and we add a little bit more detail later. I do think, however, that we should have one here. We're probably gonna have a tower maybe in the water later also. So we're gonna make pretty much the same thing as we did before here. And I must say, like, walls 
castles, all those things. I really, really like to design and build them. I think it's really fun. I've always been like very interested like in the medieval and stuff like that. Ooh, what's going on here? Are they fighting the golem or are they fighting me? We got the invaders at least. Uh, rally my people, gather my troops, get ready to battle. Let's see what's happening over there. I really hope I don't have someone in that. I'm gonna wait with my people over here. We're gonna be ready for them when they arrive. Okay, so here they're coming. Let's target that. Wow, that's a lot of archers. Gonna try to take out one. Ooh, let's see that. We got burning arrows already. So do they like switch between them on their own? It kind of seems like they do. They look freaking awesome with the fire. Look at that, everybody's burning. Everybody's burning. And this slow from the arrows, it's OP, it's so good. You know, I always say that I hate when the enemy Arch is like running around like crazy. But now when I have this, it's like, hmm, well, this is really awesome. I'm gonna get this very like often, early on, because it's so useful. Look at that slow. Like, look at him now, like, maybe, like, he's running pretty quick now. I'm gonna see some slowing arrows soon, hopefully. Look at that. <laughs> pretty much can't move anything. I love you, Arches. You are awesome. You are awesome. Wow. Loved Arches. I loved Arches. You're so good. Hope you guys agree, they are, they are so awesome. Okay, so let's get back to the wall. Let's see if we can do things here. So, we got these up here, so they can get up. We can have a tower here, probably later, like I said. And we can also raise this up higher, of course, so they can go up even higher here. So, we're gonna make another stair. I think I will use, maybe... Like this one again. And this time, I think we will make a stair that's gonna go over the other stair. I think it's really useful, because... It saves, like, a lot of space if you do it that way. And it can look pretty cool as well. There we go, I think this will be the last level for the walls, however I think that maybe we will... Should we make this wider on top, maybe? Maybe we can do it wider on top. Let's do it wider. Something like that, that's a really, really big tower. Really big. It ran Shepherd level 2, awesome. Let's fix this thing that I screwed up. Come on, Banto, please right. Yes, we did it. Okay, so let's do a little bit on wall. This is probably gonna be a project over episode, so... We're also gonna fit some things uh, under here. That's why I went for like three in between, because I like to have something in between here. I think it'll make it look cool. There we go, and we need to have something on top here, so let's see if we get a good color. Why has this changed it to an... Why is it not bright in the middle anymore? What has happened? What has happened? I haven't changed it anything, and it's gone. That was weird. That was really weird, because I haven't changed it on my own, it just disappeared out of color. Don't like when the game do things like that. It's like, I don't trust the game when it does things like that. Okay, so let's get some slabs going for this. Maybe she had like three over like each of these columns that's under here. I think that's gonna be pretty nice. So for the end we go for like Two like that. I think this looks pretty sweet for this side. It looks awesome, I think. Seems they are almost done with our storage house, so that's nice. But we have a lot to build, like I said before, we have so much to build. I like to build stuff and it just queues up like that. And I don't want to use instant build for any houses. If they're like any desire that all of you guys think that we should do it for some house, we will do it. But if not, we're not gonna do it. But guys, thanks for checking up this episode, let me know what you guys think about the wall so far. We're not close to be done with it at all, and the tower is still very far away to be done. But guys, thanks for checking out this episode with Stoneheart, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys soon again. Thanks for watching, have a great day, take care.